Hello everyone, back guys here and welcome back to another video. How's it going? Is everything okay? Good to have a good great day every day with a smiling face. So smile a bit and keep continuing. In this video, we are going to have a depth review of OM5 or DJI Osmo Mobile 5. All right, here we have the super light foldable compact gimbal, which it is about 290 gram. The gimbal became smaller and lighter than the last version. We have a magnetic clamp. We can use it on a small size or bigger size mobile phone, like an iPhone Pro or Samsung Notes and etc. After lining the DJI logos up on the gimbal and magnetic clamp, we can attach them together. When you see these white dots together, it's done. By the way, you don't need to be worried about your phone and magnetic clamp. It is totally safe and strong. And won't come off so easily. It's quite secure. Let's shake it. Let's move it. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Even though we can be more creative with this magnetic clamp, you know, it is magnetic. So... We have here 215 millimeter extension rod. With this extension rod, you can see yourself in the frame clearly and see what is behind you. Even though we can flip it upside down to record from a super low angle without breaking our back. There's a joint on tip of the extension rod, which we can bend it to get a better position. DJI designed two different colors of OM5. Gray, as we have here, and white one. Very nice, comfortable and handy. I feel really good when I'm holding it. Oh, great. Let's turn it on. With one click on the power button or M button on the left side, we can see the battery charger. The battery charger is really great. I don't remember the last time when I charged it. And if you hold it for about two seconds, it will turn on. When we hear a beep sound, we're ready to go. Under that, we have the zoom trigger to zoom in and out. Behind the gimbal, we have the back button with a few more functions. Press the trigger once to enable following mode. By another click, it is going to be turned off. By pressing it twice, it will bring back the gimbal into the default position. If you press and hold the trigger, it will lock the gimbal. By pressing once and pressing and holding the trigger, it will enter into the sport mode. In front of the gimbal, we have a joystick to move it around. Record button for capturing the moments or recording videos. You like bird shooting? Then press and hold the shutter button. Under the record button, we have the circle button, which allows you to change the camera from front to rear or rear to front. If you want to have a quick selfie, just hit the circle button once.
If you want to rotate the camera to landscape or portrait, just hit the circle button twice. On the right side of the gimbal, we have the USB-C charging port. All right, let's go out for testing the gimbal. First, we are going to walk, then we will run by hand holding the phone and with the gimbal. Side to side testing. <laughs> Gimbal's Mimo app gives you more and better control of it. We can take photos and recording videos in video mode up to 4K, slow motion 120 frames per second. And we have panorama mode with three options, dynamic zoom, hyperlapse, motion lapse, and more. We have a new improvement in Active Track technology. If you use Mimo app in selfie mode, you can see the camera automatically recognizing your face. It makes you to record a lot easier. You can be behind the camera or in front of the camera. If you are alone and you have to record on your own by showing your hand in self-tracking using the gesture mode, it is start recording. The gimbal has a built-in extension rod with magnetic design and foldable. Super light, compact and handy with 3-axis stabilization. Active tracking improved to 4.0 which allows you to record better and much easier, even if you are alone. You can like and subscribe the channel to see more videos and like always, have a great shooty day.